Hey guys, Joe at Small Home Office Prepping. Welcome to our channel. So this is part two of the generator transfer switch. Looks like we're going to go into three. This is just really a lot, a lot of work here. Um, like I said, I don't want these videos being too long, but as you see here where we left off last time, um, this panel is basically in. We have it bonded. I put in the, um, this one, this panel was the first means of disconnect when this was a temporary power. So that means the grounds and the neutrals needed to be bonded together. Um, now this is no longer the first means of disconnect. This is coming off of a sub panel. And you see up over here where the bonding screw, um, is completely backed off and all the grounds up here are separated from all the neutrals down here. So once you leave the first means of disconnect, um, then you have to separate your um, grounds and neutrals. Now, if you have a house that actually has a disconnect on it, that is considered your first means of disconnect. So the disconnect itself has to be bonded, and then the disconnect would be controlling a panel, and that panel, the neutrals and grounds, would have to be separated. So, um, like I said, these we have them completely separated here. These are arc fault breakers, and I really should have changed the title and made this um, installing an arc fault solar generator transfer panel, because arc fault is a little bit different. Um, than, than a regular transfer panel here. Um, arc fault, as you see, the neutrals go directly into the breaker, so we have to transfer the neutrals, and we haven't done anything yet here because this panel doesn't have any power to it. We have to come off of the transfer switch to bring power back to that, which will come into this 30 amp breaker right here. This is going to be a feeder breaker. And because I wanted both sides of the bus bar to work, and this is only a 120 uh, panel that's at most going to be pulling about um, 500 watts in that area, then we just basically jump the two bus bars together here um, so the whole panel is completely live here. So this is really just one um, 30 amp circuit running into this thing to control everything here. So um, that's pretty well where we're at with this. This part is pretty well done. We have to transfer the circuits over um, from here once we get to that point. But today we're going to be connecting the power inverter to the transfer switch itself. And I'll show you guys where we're at with that. Okay, so you guys see I have the transfer switch over here um, mounted. There's a disconnect right over here. Um, so why would I want to put a disconnect in over here? Um, simple reason. The disconnect is how I will turn the transfer panel on and off. If I have regular power going and I just want to run my solar, then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull out the disconnect, which you see it's already pulled out right now. It's this right here it goes into there, so it's a disconnect. So that is a switch to turn it on and off. Um, breakers are not switches. This did come up. Um, from the last video, maybe one before, I'm not sure. Um, but somebody told me, you know, he turns his breakers on and off to turn the solar on and off. And that's not right. Breakers are not switches. They're not meant to be turned on and off. Um, so this it basically right here will give me a way to cut the AC power and this transfer switch will end up thinking that the power has been cut. Once I disconnect this, it'll think the power went off and it'll switch over to the solar automatically. So um, that's pretty well where we're at with this over here. We have I already put our pipe in over here, and you see we already have the knockouts um, right back over here. I'm going to come in through the back because I don't want any pipes. So this basically is how it's going to look completely finished. It'll, there's no more pipes, nothing else going on over here. We are going to come off the disconnect, so I have to take this disconnect back out again, and I'm going to take this knockout out over here, and I'm going to flex around the back and come into the back over here. Okay, it's probably on the top right over here I'll come into. Um, and then we have one that's going to come in from the main panel for the utility power, and then one that's going back out to the... Um, um, transfer panel from the solar it's actually backwards this one's going to go back out to the transfer panel and this one will come in from the main power here and then all that gets connected into here so um, what I'm going to do I got to get this disconnect back off again here and I got to drill all these holes so once I do that and I start running the wiring then I'll come back and show you guys what we're doing here all right so yep I got that part done I got the disconnect off I drilled the hole in the back punch that through you can see where we're coming through right back over here got the bushing on and all that and um, these wires are pretty well ready to connect over here so um, you see how nice and neat that is. It all comes from the back, and I don't have any more pipes running around this and that. So this one is not going to look just like uh, this over here. Um, that's it. There'll be no pipes, nothing underneath here. So um, next we just have to go through and mark these over here, and I have to drill these out, and then we'll pull the wires through, and we'll be ready to connect everything into here. So um, once I get to that point, I'll be back. I'll show you guys. All right, guys, so we got this all in. We got this all wired up here, and I'll explain to you exactly what all this wiring does, what this means. We have it all connected in a disconnect, so the solar end of this is all working, um, and I'll show you guys here in a second. So basically what we have is, you remember, we want to disconnect the power from the main panel um, to kick the solar in, so that's why we have this disconnect here, and these two wires here are these two wires coming in right over here and here, okay? So when there's power on, um, it'll pull this contactor in, and it relays it through this over here. When the power goes off, this contactor kicks back up this way because of the spring, and then the solar, which is this and this here, neutral and the uh, hot is down over here, will send power down through this over here. Um, so, and then these two over here, so what's going to happen, the power company's power uh, for my panel 
will come in on these two centers right over here, right on line. And when the disconnect is pushed in, it'll send the power into there. Um, when I pull the disconnect out, it disconnects the power, solar kicks in automatically by itself, or if the power goes off for any reason, storms, doesn't matter, um, again, it will kick the solar on automatically by itself. These two wires here, these are the wires that are actually going back, they're connected right over here. So this is load out, basically, so this is going to the transfer panel, these two right over here, and they'll be wire nutted into the wires that come in from the transfer, pan uh, transfer panel, which are coming through this hole right over here. So like I said, this is live, so let me uh, grab the meter, flip on the solar, and we'll show you real quick. Okay, so right now, you see I have this off, okay? When all this is working, I'm going to basically have this turn to power saver on, right over here. And you see nothing comes on. Um, that's one of my issues. You hear that GFI pop? Okay, well, power saving on, I'm going to have to figure out how to uh, deal with that. Not a big, big thing. Um, but with power saver on, what this thing does, it sends out pulses to see if there's anything looking for a load. Um, like, you know, if the refrigerator's trying to kick in because the power went out, um, power saver on will send out little pulses, and when it detects there's a load, it'll kick this thing in at full capacity and everything runs. Okay, so before I turn this on, let me explain how this is all going to work to you guys here. Um, normally when I've been using this, we just put the power on. That's it. Turn this thing on, green light comes on, we're getting power, okay? And you notice the GFI works completely perfect uh, when that happens. The light will flash in a second over here. Um, well, I'm not going to wait, but anyways, the light will flash. So now what happens, when we put this to power saver on, okay, that's when we want this thing to run um, automatically with the transfer switch. So it'll work with the power company until the power goes off and then swap by itself. Now, what Power Saver is going to do, um, the GFI may or may not trip, but it will trip more times than none. This thing on Power Saver will actually send out a little signal, okay? It's a small pulse. You see that? The GFI just popped, if you guys heard that. Um, GFIs monitor voltage, okay? And if the voltage fluctuates one way or the other, um, then the GFI is going to uh, trip. It's going to pop, okay? And that's what this thing is doing here. This thing is actually sending out a little signal um, just to detect if anything's trying to draw a load, okay? So when we're on the... Um, uh, you know, when this is all set up and it's going to work on the transfer switch, then, like I said, that's going to be on power saver. I got a small GFI issue I got to deal with, but I know how to deal with that. I'll maybe make a video out of it uh, so you guys can see what I did with that. But um, So let's turn this thing on over here. All right, so see if I can do this one-handed. All right, so we have the power from the generator um, from the solar coming in right here. Hold on, let me get these leads right. Okay, so this is hot down on the bottom over here. There, this is neutral right over here. Okay, so we got hot and neutral connected, and as you see on the meter here, we have 123, 122 volts over here. Now, when we come over to here, um, same thing. We check the neutral here, and we check here. So keep in mind, this is the power going out to the transfer panel, okay? So um, if the points are pulled this way, it's going to come from the solar, and if the points are pulled in, it's going to come from my panel, my main panel. But again, you see here, we're reading 123 volts. So that's what I would have going to the panel right now, 123 volts. Um, I can't really push this in and show you guys at the same time here, but if I were to push this in... Um, and film it we would have no voltage coming out over here right now so um, that's how this thing works guys I would not recommend this for a DIY you know I don't make my videos for DIY anyways I do make them to um, help apprentices learn things and um, mainly so homeowners know that these things are available this procedure is available um, this is available we sell this on our e-commerce sites I'll include a link down on the bottom here for our website we started um, just doing our website because we have so many different e-commerce businesses now and so many different products um, I mean we have central air conditioning we have whole house grid tied solar we have power generators um if you follow this channel you know we just started my um, wife's channel v's cooking with love and she's got all kinds of different household gadgets different things we'll again include a link for that but if you just go to our website actually is what we're doing because we have so many different links now then what you can do is when you see the picture on the website whether it's an air conditioner power generator something from my wife's store just click the link on it you'll see the link right below the picture and it takes you to the correct store to take you to ebay amazon um you know all our different places there so um like i said we have these available over here and these things are really 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 good the 8,000 is still on back order um, we did recently put the 10,024 volt back on our sites and we put the 15,000 back on our sites but everything else is still on back order this one is available this is the 12 volt the 24 volt is on back order so currently um, the 6,000 here 12 volt 10,024 and 15,000 uh, 24 are the only three of these that are available right now so um, but like I was saying guys I don't recommend this as a DIY project 
Um, very, 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 very complicated between the transfer panel and the transfer switch. We still have to pull one circuit from the panel, put a breaker in the panel to feed power over to this, and then we have to run another one back to the other panel. Um, and that's what I'll be doing next. Like I said, I'm not going to film the digging. Uh, I think I have two videos now where I showed you guys how to correctly dig a trench and you know measure it, make sure your pipe is correct to code and all that. Um, so I'm not going to do that, but when I get that done and I'm ready to you know finish this all up, we got one more shot here, um, then we'll go ahead and we'll make another video. If you guys want to see that one, subscribe, hit the notification button. And like I said, I'll probably have that one out next week, but then this, you know, I'll be up and running so I can turn it on, turn it off, you know, um, check voltages and show um, so you guys exactly how this thing works here. And then, like I said, you can see the GFI is stripped. And when I reset the GFI here, um, now the GFI will hold fine because it just has constant voltage. There's no um, signals back and forth. But like I said, on Power Saver, what it does is it's not actually putting out power. It's sending out little tiny pulses that will pick up. If something's trying to kick in and pull a load, it picks that up and says, oh, okay, you want power? And it sends power. So, um, but I do have a solution. Like I said, I'll probably end up making a video on that one. But anyways, guys, like I said, um, you know, subscribe, hit the notification button. We'll include all our links on the bottom. And like I said, I should have the completion of this video out in about a week. So, all right, guys, have a great day.